Hello there, how are you today? It's Robin Jana Rosenhouse, and I am so happy to see you as always. We're going to talk about today's energy for Monday, January 31st, 2022. Very exciting, the last day of January, huh? All right, so, uh, you know, today's energy is not going to, don't, don't expect it to be the smoothest of sailing, all right? Um, it's, it's interesting because I did, uh, uh, two readings this morning, two completely unrelated readings and shuffled the deck and blah, 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 blah. And the, the card that kind of talks about chaos, um, has shown up twice. So <laughs> here it is. Um, so today, seriously, it, today it's, it will serve you well to be adaptable and stay focused at the same time. And so what I mean is, yes, there's there there's the opportunity for there to be a lot of noise around you today, right? A lot of voices coming in from the outside, a lot of people telling you what to do, <laughs> much like I am, right? Um, and, you know, sometimes it gets overwhelming. Sometimes what's really important is to just slow down take a minute remind yourself of what your goals are like what is your your purpose like what are you doing so <clears throat> you know that can be your overarching goals it can be your daily goals so it's a time to adapt but it's not a time to change so you might be you know like you, you might hit several walls today, okay? That, that's the bottom line. Um, you could just hit one big wall. And you can be like, oh, man, is this all worth it? You know, is, do I really want what I'm going for? Maybe it's time for me to change my goals. Maybe it's time for me to set different intentions. What I am going to, what I am saying to you is, I highly do not recommend that you make those changes today. Now, you can sit down and you can journal on it. You can talk to a t trusted friend or colleague about it. You know, talk things out a little bit. Absolutely, no problem. Um, but today is more about shifting your approach than shifting what your goals, dreams, and desires are. Okay, that's, that's really the bottom line. Stay true to your intentions. Be okay with things kind of... <laughs> um, understand also that if things do kind of, kind of get out of control like that and whatnot, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong at all. Actually, what it has, what it has the opportunity of doing is when things fall back into place, you may see some different opportunities or some different avenues towards reaching your goal. So if you can allow yourself to remain emotionally disconnected from the chaos, that will be even better for you. So emotionally and even energetically, right? So I know a lot of you are empaths and being energetically disconnected is really, really hard. You know, it, it's okay. Like you do not have to process everybody else's energy. You don't have to feel everybody else's energy. Not even feel, you don't have to take it on. Like you don't need to be an energetic sponge. You can be more like a, a window screen or a, what do they call it? A sieve or, um, or like a colander or a sifter, <laughs> right? Like it can just go through you. And I'll tell you what, that, when you can master that, life really gets so, so much easier, you know? And so what's the best tool to do that? I don't know that there's one best tool for anybody. Like I always start with clearing the energy. I always start with, and, and clearing, you can't really clear it. What you do is you transmute it. 
right? So sage is always the first go-to in, in my world. I burn some sage or I use some sage spray. Um, one of my absolute favorites is um, rosemary. Um, the essential oil works. Um, you know, it might smell like a uh, roast beef or something, <laughs> but um, you know the uh, the sprigs of rosemary. Um, you can dip that in um, water that has some salt in it, right? Or ocean water if you can get to it, or or lake water. Like if you don't have a natural body of water near you then add the salt and you can dip it in that and you can just kind of, you know, fling it around like you see the, the priests do when they do exorcisms. That works really, really great. You can also make um, your own kind of rosemary water, right? And that's really cool. Rosemary, truly my, one of my favorites. And as a matter of fact, um, in, uh, in the Catholic religion, they, that is part of what is used for exorcisms so in, in a lot in, actually in a lot of cultures it's used for exorcisms so you know and so they say you're casting out this the the bad spirits right but really what you're doing is you're transmuting the energy right because you can't really cast out the the energy on you know energy just is it can't be created or destroyed but it can it can change form and so that's what you're doing right and that's what clearing is, is you're transmuting the energy. So there are so many things you can do. You can pray, you can meditate, um, you set the intention that um, no negative energy will enter your field. Like there's so many, like there's the old, um, the, there's, there's that old, um, um, not belief, technique where you imagine that you are surrounded by um, pink, uh, pink light and white light. And so that keeps the negative energy from, from reaching you. Right. Um, and again, what it really does is it just transmutes. So the other thing is, is programming your body. Like you keep reminding your body that, um, that it does not have to hang on to, any detrimental energy and the more you remind yourself of this and and literally have the talk with your body um the more that energy will or the less that energy will affect you over time so those are a couple you know of little things you can do um so that you can remain clear on which messages are meant for you what is your next right action um i've been sorry i've been playing around with um i don't know if i said this to you guys yesterday or not i've been playing around with this new phrase that i love and i call it my uh, my next aligned should um the word should I, it is such a part of my vocabulary right that the amount of time I try to, um, I spend trying not to say the word, I end up losing what my original intention was. So now when I journal and I want to know what I should be doing for the day so that I can continue to move forward towards my goals, what I do is I ask for that aligned should. So those aligned shoulds, they don't feel heavy. They don't feel um they don't feel burdensome they they don't add weight to your shoulders right it's like it's like oh this would be the next you know most beneficial action to take um it, it, you got to find the words you want to find the words that resonate with you for me i need words that feel like they have substance to them in order for me to personally be able to connect with them and in order for me to know that they are the aligned words for me to use in, t in looking at whether I'm manifesting or whether I'm transmuting energy or whatever it is. It, it's, it's all about how things feel for me. 
So you may or may not be the same. Um, I, I, I was just reminded as um, human design has come back into, um, into the forefront in, in the new age and the spiritual communities. And, uh, and I'm not studied in it at all, but um, I, I do know that I'm a reflector. So it makes sense why I'm always talking about energy and why I'm always talking about the environment around, you, you know, your environment and making sure things feel right. Because um, as a reflector, it's, you know, it's like you're a super empath, right? And so um, feeling is very, very, very important. And so for me personally, I have learned that when things feel tangible to me, when a word feels tangible to me, that word is the quote unquote right word for me. And so I'm able to diffuse any negative connotations with it. Like the shoulds, when I add the word align to it, it no longer feels like that burden. It still feels tangible, but it no longer feels burdensome. So, you know, why am I saying, saying this to you? I'm, I want to give you food for thought, right? Because for everybody, it's different. S some people do really great at following the rules, A, B, C, and D. Other people, they can't follow the rules because it just feels too, <laughs> you know, constricted. And, you know, I'm somebody personally who's like in the middle. I like to see what the rules are. So I understand the guidelines. I understand the the general the general how of things, but then I I'm tweaking them all the time, all the time. Like I can't seem to follow a marketing plan to save my life. And it was funny because when I was reading up again on reflectors and and that whole thing and it's like we are very much a uh, we are very adaptable we are very you know go with the flow and and um create what feels right in the moment and all of this kind of stuff and i've always made myself wrong for that um so being reminded of it i'm like oh right you know this is the way i'm designed to be now can I change it? I can absolutely change it, right? I mean, and I've made a lot of changes in that, in those directions. And you can do the same. But the thing is, when you understand that this is more of your innate beingness, you can choose to embrace it, you can choose to change it, and you can do all of this from the space of not making yourself feel wrong, from the space of not feeling like there's morally or ethically something wrong with you or innately wrong with you or your personality because you can't do it, you know, in the same way as everybody else. So just keep that in mind for today. Keep that in mind when the energy, you know, starts getting a little wonky and things seems to not be going the way that you hoped and expected, it's okay, right? It's okay. You can find your way. You can find your own way. Take those few minutes to just sit down and get quiet and feel into, listen to, look at whatever your way of intuition shows up, um, what your next aligned should is. So that's what I have for you guys today. Uh, remember, I, I have, what do I have? I think I have two spaces left for those one-on-one, -on -one, those one-off, one-on-one coaching sessions. So if you want to grab it, DM me, let's talk, let's see if we're a, a, a good fit. If not, I'm not going to be upset, <laughs> you know, like it's okay if you say no and it's awesome and okay if you say yeah, actually it's awesome and okay if you say no as well because you're making your own decision, right? You're going by your gut, right? And that's, that's the thing. Like you get to make your own choices. Anyway, I would love to work with whoever is aligned 
with working together. I would love to help you move forward faster and easier than before. I would love to help you get what you want faster and easier. So I hope you reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. And either way, I'll be back here tomorrow with your daily energy report. This is Robin John Rosenhaus. Remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. Bye for now.